Subjective reality is the perspective that you could be living in a simulation or a dream world of some kind. In this video, I'm going to share with you from that perspective, as if this is a message from your simulator, to invite you to relax your grip on the objective version of reality that you think you know to be true, and come play in the possibility space and see what more can be possible. So I invite you on a journey into the world of subjective reality here. You see, when your thinking is primarily objective in nature, your experiential world becomes much more limited and constrained. You may even feel a bit trapped or fenced in by events and circumstances. Objective thinking is inherently limiting. Over-objectifying your reality has the effect of shutting down access to the immense richness of the possibility space. Your window to the abundant flow of inspiration will be closed most of the time. So you will have to self-power your goals in order to advance. And that is frustratingly slow. A good place to start is by considering and accepting that the true nature of reality is inherently unknowable and it's perpetually mysterious. You may think that it's objective in nature, maybe that's what you were taught, but you don't really know that for sure. Your pathway to the possibility space actually begins with doubting strict objectivity. When you let go of this limiting notion that reality must be objective, such as by acknowledging that objectivity is neither provable nor falsifiable, you elevate your thinking to align with truth. And this improved truth alignment enables you to access more of the possibility space. Objective structures arise then from subjective possibilities. They may seem solid, but they're still inherently made of energy. By engaging with life on an energetic and vibrational level, you can access its organic nature, thereby giving you the power to bend and twist reality in new directions. Reality is a creatively powerful experience generator and a simulator of sorts. It can produce endless variations of experiences that align with joy, connection, and fun, but it's equally skillful at generating experiential matches for loneliness, scarcity, and conflict. Your life depends on the quality of your relationship with your reality. You always have the power to upgrade and improve this relationship, which is among the most important investments you can make on this human journey. From the outside looking in, you cannot fathom what the realm of subjective reality is actually like inside. It won't fully reveal itself till you consciously decide to step inside and experience it for yourself. So step inside. This is an invitation to do that. Using the subjective lens, not the weak ass objectified version of it, which is merely solipsism, transforms that opaque viewport that we saw earlier into a transparent one. Now you can better see the light at the end of the tunnel. When you walk through that portal and begin practicing, and it will take practice, the full flow of life opens up and you can begin manifesting much more experiential richness. You may be surprised to discover that when you begin practicing the subjective lens, reality reveals so much more of its nature to you. It especially loves to generate synchronicities. You may even sense a consciousness or an intelligence disrupting the old predictable patterns of your life with a flow of unusual coincidences or extraordinary incidents of good luck. That will surely grab your attention. When you consciously decide to explore the rabbit hole of subjective reality, you'll soon discover that it isn't a mere fantasy as you may have previously assumed. There really are rabbits inside, at least figuratively speaking. Sometimes your experiences may become so intense that you may want to close your eyes to the subjective perspective and retreat back to the familiarity of the objective worldview. Relapsing back to a strictly objective lens is totally normal, by the way. Catch your breath when you need to. The rabbits will wait till you're ready to play again. It takes time to learn how to feel grounded and secure in the subjective world. That will come with sufficient practice. Your reality simulator is rich, organic, and vibrant it constantly generates fresh possibilities to explore, but you'll only be able to access a tiny fraction of these possibilities when you're stuck in objective mud. The possibility space gives you access to an endless variety of experiential worlds, all serving to benefit your growth as a conscious being and to serve the expansion of creative energy for all. Keep reminding yourself to turn your attention 
towards the possibility space. Don't live the rest of your life within the crusty borders of familiar experiences. Subjective reality is a lens that you can use to create a bridge from your seemingly objective experiences back into the possibility space. It is not a truth unto itself, and it does not require belief. It is simply a different and powerful way of interfacing with the reality you already think you know. Using the subjective lens grants you direct access to your reality simulator, so you can finally start making requests that the simulator acknowledges and responds to. There's a connection between your inner reality and your outer experience. The two are inseparably linked. If you want to change the externals, you must develop the ability to change your mind, change your thinking. Your perceived outer reality can only be as flexible as your inner energy patterns and your inner thought patterns. In this life, though, you can develop and expand those patterns. Life presents you with endless possibilities. You're here to explore many of those possibilities during your human existence. So keep diving into new experiential pools. Have lots and lots of different experiences. Embrace the new. Internally, your brain absorbs and processes stacks of experiences and turns them into neural patterns. These patterns help to direct the flow of energy through you, especially when you encounter new experiences. When this energy flows well, you'll feel naturally motivated to take action in alignment with your best creative intentions. As new sensory and experiential input flows into you, your brain tries to match and filter it using the structure and the knowledge that it's developed thus far. The more variety of experiences you have and the better you become at combining those stored patterns to envision new patterns, the more complex and robust your ability to channel and direct creative energy becomes. If you could see this flow of energy in action, you'd be overwhelmed by how stunningly beautiful it is. You are a creator here, but you function a hundred times better as a co-creator. Given enough cooperation from reality, you can create so much more versus if you attempt to self-power your creative endeavors. When you realize that you're not just a droplet of individuality, and you bend your mind towards the vastness of the possibility space. Reality notices, and it reaches out to meet you as well. This is where you finally begin to explore your true creative power. Use your imagination, like the Willy Wonka song suggests, to create fresh possibilities by stretching from where you've been. Learn from your experiences, but remember that you're always connected to infinitely more possibilities than what you've already experienced thus far. Within your brain is a powerful antenna. It is always perceiving, but you may not always be listening to it. You can consciously tune into this receptive part of yourself to access an immense and motivating flow of inspiration, to connect with the collective consciousness, and to transmit your intentions to reality. Consciousness, your consciousness, is creative. You have tremendous freedom to create and experience many different kinds of sub-realities in this life. Whenever you reach for the new, you're reaching into the zone of subjective reality, which meets you beyond the edge of what you've already experienced. Stretch into the zones of experience that you haven't yet touched and tasted. Objectivity and subjectivity are not in conflict. With practice, you can learn to use both lenses, even simultaneously. One way to merge them together is actually through the lens of story. Instead of focusing on objective experiences to invite into your life, Clarify the vibes you want to experience first. What vibes do you want to invite and explore next? What feelings, what flavor of life would you like to bring in? Do you want adventure and excitement? Love and passion? Peace and relaxation? Choose and declare your vibes. Practice harmoniously resonating with them. And let reality handle the manifestation side. It will take care of the details. Team up with reality to create powerful harmonies. Create as one. Experience as one. There is no separation here. Your true power arises from unity. One delicious pathway back to the possibility space is to focus on creating new growth experiences. Remind yourself that more growth is always possible. You can always grow. You can always learn. You can always experience. New experiences are endlessly abundant. New experiences invite growth. Growth experiences tend to unfold organically. 
They're seldom linear in nature. It's more predictable that such experiences will twist and turn and branch. Reality especially loves fractals, experiences within experiences. Your thoughts, feelings, vibes, and energy patterns invite the simulator to choose from the vastness of the possibility space to give form and structure to your everyday experiences. But within the apparent collapsed nature of those experiences, there is still flexibility, and you can build upon this wiggle room to open a window to even more possibility than you've been experiencing thus far. Keep turning towards growth. Focusing on growth and positive changes brings order to the swirling, sometimes chaotic field of possibilities. Seek your best motivational gold. Turn towards experiences that light you up inside. Then fully immerse yourself in those experiences. Keep reminding yourself what motivational gold feels like so you can more easily recognize it. When you haven't found your motivational gold yet, keep turning towards the possibility space by inviting new experiences to explore. You will recognize motivational gold when you find it. To create positive change, it's often necessary to release misaligned attachments and partial matches. New growth invitations may even seem destructive at first, but that destructive phase can help you break free and get back into alignment with the possibility space. Sometimes you just have to blow up what isn't working. This can be beautiful too, but perhaps only when you get some distance from it, not necessarily while you're in the thick of it. Keep making decisions, especially new decisions. Once you've explored one room of reality thoroughly enough, summon and walk through a portal to fresh experiences. Keep turning towards what gives you a sense of beauty, wonder, and fascination. Ask your energy where it wants to flow next and do your best to cooperate with its answer. Do your best not to let your energy become stagnant. Don't keep doing the same things over and over and over again. Keep the energy moving. Now let me invite you into the Submersion Group Deep Dive experience. This is a community experience we're having. In this experience, you'll discover the hidden structures behind subjective reality, and you'll learn to communicate and cooperate with your simulator, with your reality. When multiple subjective reality enthusiasts gather together, we can swirl our collective intentional energy to invite fresh co-creative harmonies into our lives, thereby summoning whole new worlds of possibility to explore. So this is an invitation to join us for an organic deep dive into the Submersion course, which is a 60-day course, an audio course, on subjective reality. This will teach you to create a harmonious relationship between the subjective and the objective modes of thinking. You'll get to upgrade your personal operating system for life. I invite you to let me be your subjective coach and tour guide on this fascinating journey through the mysterious subjective reality portal. And okay, maybe I had a little too much fun exploring artistic co-creation and making this. One day at a time, for 60 days, you'll build direct experience with the subjective lens. Your mind will discover new ways to model reality, which you can then put to good use to create a richer and more vibrant life. On the live calls for the Submersion Course group experience, we'll pool our collective intentional energy to create changes in our realities. Have you ever experienced hundreds of people channeling their energy and intentions to invite reality to upgrade your growth, success, abundance, happiness, and more? Would you like to have that experience? Let's intend and invite positive ripples for ourselves and for the world. Let's elevate the positive creative frequencies of everything within our fields of perception. With the submersion course and the subjective lens that we'll be using, You'll learn to co-create fascinating experiences with reality as your partner, your friend, and your ally. And let's co-create some amazing ripples together as well. So I invite you to immerse yourself in an exploration of intense beauty and wonder and possibility. Maybe you've already tried to achieve this kind of life as an individual. How's that been working for you so far? Are you ready to upgrade to the experience of collective creativity? Which memories do you want here? Do you want the memories of saying yes and participating in a super unique, uplifting, mind-blowing experience with hundreds of growth-oriented people from now through the end of the year? Or would you prefer the memories of sitting on the sidelines and wondering what might have been? Are you a full engagement person or are you a sidelines person? It's your choice. The submersion portal awaits you when you're ready to join us. Now, if I can co-create all this art with the simulator in one afternoon, what more could you create an experience if you were to stretch beyond seeing yourself as a limited individual 
and you dive into the collective possibility space with us. Co-creating with the simulator is fun, so come join us. I'll see you inside.